This one is going to be a continuation from the last time I talked about was uh, how to scan something and what your options were. Now basically um, this one is going to be on um, OCRing or um, you know converting uh, image text to actual text. Because on an image you can't highlight it, you can't search it, but uh, on a, a text format you can actually search it like you know within the PDF and all like that and you can highlight it and everything uh, so that's what we're gonna do now this one is great for college students because we always get jacked by the school the system you know every new class or every new semester you're gonna buy books and <laughs> if you try to sell the book back uh, on a sell back day or something that means you're getting jacked because you, you're gonna pay like maybe uh, they pay you back for like a fraction of what you pay for and the book is practically new okay and um, I always hated that and uh, I I'm, uh, I always hate fucking buying books and the book is big as hell too you know it's like the Bible and that shit hurts okay um, so I recommend uh, checking out your library if they have a scanner in there and uh, they'll let you borrow books of course and make sure you have you know the book that uh, you want to borrow is uh, actually there or if that doesn't work uh, ask your um, classmate that has one use them so the first day of, of semester or something or the first day of class try to make as many friends as you can that's usually what I do and then use them later you know that's just how you do it to get access to a book dog <laughs> um, so after that you get access to a book uh, scan it okay scan that shit so I scan my book here. Oh, I mean just this one chapter that I needed. And um, let me show you. Now this one was uh, at the library, so I couldn't do like a real, you know, high contrast, high DPI. This one was like about 200 DPI. That's pretty low for uh, an ebook uh, type of thing that we're doing. Uh, so usually it's like 300 to 600. It's um, for a textbook because textbooks has a small ass text you know see <clears throat> so we're gonna convert these to uh, searchable text or highlightable text you know because we can't highlight the image or anything okay uh, so I couldn't really find anything on Linux that can do it uh, the OCR process really well but uh, we can use the power of wine and use some uh, Windows app that uh, is actually nice and the most of the people that post uh, ebooks online, they use these programs too, or similar to it. But this one is probably the most popular one. This one is Abby Fine Reader. Um, this one is version eight and uh, Pro Edition. Now this one is not free, but uh, you know that ain't gonna stop me anyways. <laughs> so I, I believe the demo works uh, fine too, but I don't know. Okay, I got the f the full version here. <laughs> Uh, basically, all you gotta do is uh, load it up. You know, step one, two, three, four is a uh, no-brainer. So step one is to load that shit in. Uh, I'm just gonna do a few only. So we have chapter four here. I'm gonna load those only, okay? And it's loading. And we have our um, images here, okay? That we're gonna. OCR in a minute and step two is basically uh, the OCR in process you want to read all the pages and there we go we have um, you see in the background here it's highlighting all the words and it's doing the OCR process it's trying to recognize the words and um, you know convert it to text so it, you know we can convert it to a, a PDF later on or HTML or, or a notepad or whatever the hell it is that we want to do uh, so that's what it is now it's not perfect but uh, like I said the higher the DPI is uh, the better it is so if you you're using like a 600 DPI that would be like more accurate but I only had like a 200 DPI and all that um, you know and I would say this is like a 90% uh, uh, as far as uh, the rating, I would say like in the 90s percentage. Why is that accuracy? Now, not all, not all the words you know they'll recognize, and that's where step three comes in. Now, if you want to check the spellings of how um, you know if the sentences is uh, correct or not, 
But usually I just skip number three. I don't really give a shit. And go to number four and save it. Uh, save pages here. And I recommend using the PDF because that is the best one. But they do have some other crap if you like. And I'll say select all pages because you want it in a single file, not uh, um, you know multiple files. And that's pretty much it. Uh, where you want to save it, we want to save it to the desktop. You click save. Let's do his thing. And uh, that's pretty much it. It's done. And you have a PDF here, right? Let me open this. So we have our PDF here. Um, see our um, page that we just scanned. And I, we can highlight the words too. So next one we can highlight the damn words too so you can actually search these um, there's a search option up here somewhere right uh, and uh, that's, that's that's great you know save money <laughs> and if you have a uh, a Sony reader load that shit in and read it uh, while you're going there and that's why I, I got the Sony reader I uh, mainly to read comics but uh, yeah I can read uh, text that I scan also so that's a, a way to save money and uh, if you're in college you, you know you're, you're poor as fuck uh, that's basically what a college student is a poor motherfucker <laughs> and you gotta do what you gotta do to uh, save money okay so that's it um, for all my uh, fellow college students out there uh, this is a way to maybe fight the system a little bit and um, go go try it uh, if uh, you don't want to pay for books no more or you don't want to carry books uh, invest in a uh, Sony reader or Kindle or whatever uh, ebook device that you want to use uh, so that's it